I'm your host, Dylan Salber, and you're welcome to Real the Real, the show where we dissect the movies appearing in theaters now. Today, we're going to check out the latest entry from Disney, Moana. I'm your host, Chris Rose. We are the tag team known as 210 for you. And was that just a call forward? It was indeed. Let's check out the trailer. For generations. This peaceful island has been home to our family. But beyond our reef, a great danger is coming. Legend tells of a hero who will journey to find the demigod Maui. And together, they will save us all. God of the wind and sea, I am Hero Maui. of men. Wh what? It's actually Maui shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, hero of men. I interrupted from the top, hero of men. Go. I'm not going on a mission with some little girl. This is my canoe, and you will journey to different. I did not see that coming. The ocean is a friend of mine. First, we've got to go through a whole ocean of bad. <laughs> Kakamora. Kako, what? They're kind of cute. Moana! <laughs> hey, I got your back. It's Maui time! Uh, really? Blow dart in my butt cheek. We're going to the realm of monsters? Don't worry, it's a lot farther down than it looks. Man, that is a godlike trailer. Uh, more of a demigod-like trailer. Speaking of which, let's talk about our, let's like, let's talk about this, uh, I don't think it was slight, I don't think it was complicated. Did you think it was complicated? No, not really. It starts with a demigod, Maui, voiced by the main man, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, stealing the heart of creation and losing it along with his magical hook when he is attacked by a lava demon, causing a dying to set in. And a millennia later, Moana, who is voiced by newcomer, Aoali Cravajo, is a teenage princess who wants to explore the pl other places and can't understand why nobody on her island, including her father, wants her to go beyond the reef that surrounds the island. Moana's island home, known as Tefiti, is dying due to the effects of the lost heart of creation. The fish are becoming scarce and food is becoming hard to come by. While her father assures her that the island is, will provide everything they need, Moana wants to try to venture beyond the, beyond the reef to find a fresh source of fish, as well as a small stone that is believed to be the heart of the island. Her dying grandmother tells Moana that she should follow her dream, so Moana sets sail with her pet rooster on her adventure to find the shape-shifting demigod named Maui. We have, the, we have a clip of the first time Moana and Maui met. Let's take a look at that clip. <coughs> Maui? Shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, I am Moana Hero of, of Mo Men. Wh what? It's actually Maui Shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, Hero of Men. I interrupted from the top, Hero of Men. Go. Uh, I am Sorry, Mo sorry, sorry, sorry. And women. Men and women. Both. All. Not a guy-girl thing. I, you know, Maui is a hero to all. You're doing great. What? No. I'm here to- oh, Of course, of course. Yes, 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 yes. Now he always has time for his fans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you use a bird to write with, it's called tweeting. 
<laughs> I know, not every day you get a chance to meet your hero. You are not my hero, and I'm not here so you can sign my or. Dylan, I didn't know you were in this movie. <laughs> and we're back. Say, did you know this film was based off of actual Polynesian culture? What's a Polynesia? Polynesia is made up of a thousand different islands scattered throughout the Central and Pacific Ocean. You are probably most familiar with the northernmost island, Hawaii. Clements and Musker, the creators of this film, spent five years researching and developing the film. They traveled all over the islands of the Pacific, le learning the culture and listening to the oral histories of that part of the world. The screenplay was originally written by Taika Waititi, but over time the story evolved several times and eight different people, including Clements and Musker, either made changes to the script or wrote entirely different versions. Eventually, Jared Bush was given credit as the writer of the final version. As with most Disney and Pixar animated films, several major story problems were identified after the film had already transitioned from development into production. Clements and Musker were overwhelmed with trying to keep up with the story changes and the 90 plus animators on the project. So Chris Williams and Don Hall, who directed Big Hero 6, came out to help sort out the story and the animation. Moana had a budget of $150 million and they raked in a, an astounding $56 million opening weekend. Which was Thanksgiving, by the way. Mm -hmm. Well, it's about time to take a break. We'll be back with our reviews right after this word from Head of the Tech. Three, two, one. With what's happening today with smartphones, everybody has the ability to shoot video. But not everybody has the ability to edit that video and communicate a thought and idea in a professional way with high production value. That's where we come in. This particular program allows a student to do single cam productions, multi-cam productions, short films, corporate promos, things like that. So there's a lot of different things that a student can learn in the video production area. What I love here is the practical work that I can learn. It's like a non-pressure environment, and I like that about it. All those things that you're not gonna learn unless you do it, you can read about it in a book, but that's not gonna help you when you're on set. Welcome back. Let's talk a little about the main characters in the story. Moana is your standard, bland, adventurous, wanderlust-filled teenager who's trying to find herself and isn't afraid of anything and thinks her father is a big old dope. I personally think she's the best character. You're entitled to that, to that opinion. But then when she, when, then we meet Maui, who steals the show due to him having a much more interesting character. He starts the movie as a potential villain when we're told that he's responsible for the dying that's happening due to him stealing the stone of creation. But we find he's the Prometheus-style provider for, for humanity, stealing luxuries from the gods like sunlight and fire and coconuts to gain the love of the people he never got when he was a human. We had a chance to catch up with the stars who played Moana, Auli Cravalho and Dwayne Johnson, and they talked a little bit about how they personally relate to their characters. My character is Moana in the film Moana, and she's absolutely amazing. I think as a teen, I totally understand where she's coming from through her journey where she's trying to figure out who she is, yet please her father or the people on her island. So I understand that kind of battle of just going on a journey to figure out who you are. And I love being able to play a character of whom I relate with so much. There was one part in, in the movie and in the story where it really struck me, and that was when he finally decided just to rip himself open and become vulnerable and say, all right, well, here's my truth. This is my truth. My truth is this happened to me, and I still struggle with that today. That's my truth. And um, I really appreciated that, right? So. It's one thing when I'm performing the lines in a studio, it's another thing when you watch it materialized on screen. And that was an element that struck a chord with me because look, we're all that way, right? We're all, the, we, we all got a thing that we struggle with and we just hope to get better. And so that element of Maui, I appreciate that. A little gray there. Yeah. Moana was a well-made movie all around. I'm, I mean, it's Disney, they know what they're doing or they wouldn't be doing it. The colors were vibrant, which okay. is typical of animation, but again, it's Disney and they keep, doing, they keep things done tastefully, especially with the technical aspects. The music was excellent. 
Some were about Moana's troubles, and others seemed to be there just because. That was a shame. One good one, good, one, good one was um, Where You Are, but my favorite is, drum roll please, How Far I Go. Mines, you're welcome. Okay, I'm, I'm going to need this to stop before I call the police. All right, all right. And on to a less painful subject. Since Moana is an animation, it really frees up some dr dramatic and frankly impossible camera moves. I am so glad they didn't abuse that power too much and turn it into a camera move show instead of a story. That is always painful. I have to say that the complaint that many people had about lack of creativity in, the, in theaters is running out of steam. Moana is a clear example of my point. First, Moana doesn't, take the ordinary, doesn't make the ordinary princess decisions, and then later even denies being a princess altogether. I really like it when a movie is so self-aware like that. One example of that is when, spoilers, when Maui said something about an entrance song not being allowed because it would disturb bad guys or something. Yeah. I'd say Moana is still not reaching my expectation of being perfect. I mean, we already seen this princess rebels and comedic sidekicks, though I wasn't sure, I wasn't exactly laughing at her exactly. And it ended the same as everything else too. It was just a little too rebellious. Well, you ready? Yeah. Let's, let's, move, on. let's move on to our review or ratings. I bet I can guess yours. Ready? Two out of five, right? Actually, it deserves the red reel of death. No, no, okay. <laughs> I'm this kidding, to... I'm kidding. Obviously, Moana is on the top end of Disney's movies. I give it a four out of fives. I, I, a lot of people will, sure, will be sure to love it. Although I don't think it's a perfect film, I think it's really close. I, on the other hand, give Moana top marks. Five out of five. Unlike Frozen, where that movie, I feel, was trying to push its music to be on top of all the charts, Moana used its music to further the story and give the characters some emotion, and it made the characters just so fun. Maui really had, great, had some great character development, and Moana is the most lovable Disney princess okay, since that. Mulan. The animation was top of the line and represented yeah. the characters extremely well throughout. Well, I hope you all enjoyed our review of Moana because we'll be back next time, whether you like it or not. They'll be more likely to come back if we give more positive reviews. Um, Moana is a great family movie that someone of any age can enjoy, except you, apparently. I, I loved it. I just didn't think it was perfect. Because you were in it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're most, we are our own. We'll be signing off for the day. We're most greatest critics. <laughs> we'll be signing off for the day. And, uh, <laughs> you're, I'm, you're, I'm your co-host, Chris Rose. And I am your co-host, Dylan Salber. <laughs> We'll see you in the next one. Bye.